What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Zero Escape Virtue's Last Reward Blind. In the last episode, we decided we were going to go through this blue door with Quark? No, we wanted to go with Quark, but instead we ended up settling for Temyoji. The real question was, where are we going to go? And that's what we're about to find out. Moment of truth, guys. Moment of truth. Interesting. So we have three doors. Oh, this is where the garden. It was through the blue room. Which one should we take? That seems like kind of a silly question. I mean, they're all locked, aren't they? How can we go through any of them if they're locked? Well, this thing here's got a lever on it. Maybe that does something. Why don't you pull it and find out? Right. So there's probably... Oh, I'm seeing. There's one blue door path, one red door path, and then one... Or for, I guess... We've been through one blue door for each of the three major timelines. And there's probably one red door for each of the three major timelines, and then one green door for each of the three major timelines, which is pretty interesting. Oh, hey, looks like one of them opened. But only one. Why is that? They're probably telling us we should go that way. Might as well, then. Yeah, we've already been to the garden and the rec room, and it's nice that they show you that. Oh, the PEC. <clears throat> That's right. We've technically been here before, but not in this context. So this is the exit, huh? Nothing. Lock tight. Won't even budge. So what the heck is this place? The door said P.E.C. Guess it's not for working out, though. No, nope, not quite for your pecs. <laughs> Looks like it's probably an acronym or abbreviation or something, but for what? Prepared emergency chocolate? Private ec ecclesiastical commode? Oh, wait a sec. There's a manual here, that's right. Luna supposedly had mentioned or had read it before, I think? I think it explains what this room is for. What's it say? Hold on. <clears throat> this facility is pressurized, maintaining much higher air pressure than the surrounding environment. Airborne viral contagions. What? Quiet. Keep reading, Clover. Right. Airborne viral contagions have necessitated this step, which is intended to prevent contamination of the installation. What was that first part again? It was like basically that all all persons wishing to exit the facility must do so through this pressure exchange chamber. Once the chamber has been sealed, the pressure can be lowered to match the surrounding environment. Before the PEC can be depressurized, all occupants must be wearing level A hazmat suits to prevent infection. The PEC will not function unless all occupants are wearing appropriate protective equipment. Which is pretty interesting, I wonder how they monitor that. Whoa, 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 what's going on here? Are they trying to say the air out there is full of some horrible virus? No, I don't think it's just any virus. It has to be Radical Six. Oh man. Then that newspaper article was true. 
I mean, I don't know if that's necessarily true, it's increasingly likely, but given Zero potentially constructed this entire facility for the sake of the game, it wouldn't be surprised if, you know, the rooms were in agreement with each other. Several long moments of silence crawled past. The three of us just stared at one another, our minds working to make sense of this new information. Eventually, Clover shuffled to one of the lockers and opened it. Is this one of those hazmat suits the manual was talking about? Yeah, I figure they are. We won't be able to get into the pressure exchange thing unless we've got those on, then. And getting that room to decompress is the only way we'll get outside. Hmm. I guess something I probably mistakenly said during the D.O. end was that we were in the PEC that we had been in earlier. There very well could be multiple PECs, right? For exiting. It would be pretty odd that you go past the 9 door and then take an elevator down to this exact PEC that we can access from the blue door, right? Although, Fi and, and friends, I think they recognized it, didn't they? Hmm, that's pretty odd, because why can't Clover, Temyoji, and Sigma just throw on the PEC hazmat suits and, and just leave, right? So where is the actual decompression room? Have a look. See that lift over there? Oh, yeah. This room is divided into two floors, upper and lower. We're on the lower floor right now. Earlier, we were on the upper one. Then this is the actual pressure exchange uh, chamber. No good. This one's locked too. Won't open, huh? Nope. And you know exactly why, don't you? Okay, it's probably pointless, but humor me on this. Let's go put on those suits, come back here, and try the door again. Maybe, just maybe, we can get out. Well, it does seem like that's how this thing is supposed to work. But do you really think it'll be that easy? It's hard to believe Zero Senior would make that big of a mistake. Oh my goodness, look at the giant Zero Junior sitting in the, the PEC. Well, let's have a look around anyway. Maybe we'll find something about that virus. Yeah, good idea. What are we standing around for, then? Get to it. Alright, we're finally able to put our brains to it and see if we can seek a way out. Let's start looking around, analyzing, picking up what items we can, and figuring it out. Oh, so I can choose to go up or down from here. Notably down here, it says 25113. I wonder what these five cylinders are about. Hmm. Press the triangular buttons above and below the column to change the image. Change all five images as appropriate, then press the yellow button on the right. Right, let's do this. 25113. I'm gonna write that down for now. Just so we have that with us. 25113. And then it seems there's some key that we can unlock from that. A variety of shapes, right? Hmm. 25113. What could they be? indicating with that, right? What would this be? It's interesting that there's a cylinder that's 3D, but then all the other objects are 2D. 
there's got to be some pattern, right? So there's what? How many different things are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm, well, it doesn't have to be one to one, right? All right, well, we'll, we'll come back and think about this. Um, I mean, there are a few different ways of looking at it. It's like how many corners per se do they have? How many sides do they have? This would be 10 sides or like five points. This, you could make argument is like two or four points, but also has four sides. This has six sides and arguably four points. This has three sides and no points. This has seven sides, which doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. I'm trying to see, hmm, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but we'll, th we'll think about that later. Ugh. I don't get it. Either way, it's good to know that this exists, right? And for all we know, the 25113 could be pertinent for another section of the, the room. Interesting. So we might actually be able to access that chamber and see what's going on in there. Looks like this one opens. Hey, it's a cardboard box. Any snake under there? This is all junk. Nothing useful in here. Really? Really? A locker. Can I not? Okay. And then these ones look like they are locked behind a key. It won't open. Is it locked? Yeah, looks like it. How about this one? Yep, same deal. Crap, it's locked up tight. Hmm. What are you trying to do? Use x-ray vision. <laughs> Is that something you learned at headquarters? Do you and Alice both have x-ray vision? What do we have here? Is that a barometer? The needle's in the middle. It says it's 1.5 atmospheres. That must be the normal pressure for this building. Remember, it said something in the manual about the pressure in here being higher than the pressure outside. Okay. And what can we interact with down here? Can I interact with these? No? I guess not. Okay, I'm trying to click on those things at the bottom, but it doesn't seem I can actually interact with them. Well, then in the meantime, I guess we could take a look. Hey, hey, look! It's Zero Junior! It's only a model. A model? Yeah, fake. A replica, not the real thing. Why would they put a model of Zero Junior in there? He's just screwing with us. Baka. Yeah, that is fairly funny, but um, for the meantime, in the meantime, oh, this is the only view we can actually get. Alright, then I guess we'll head downstairs and see what we can find there. We should be able to operate the elevator. Everybody on? Yeah. I'm good. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we can find here. So we've got more lockers, and it looks like none of them are locked. No good. It won't open. It's locked? Looks like it, but I don't see a keyhole. There's no keyhole. I don't think we can open it. You're right. Guess we might as well leave these suckers alone for now. Oh, but this one's open. One of those protective suits. If we put these, if we put these on, we should be able to get into the decompression chamber. Well, let's do it then. Were there three of them in there? Oh, all three of them to the right were. You managed to get it on? Yeah. It's a little big on me, but I think I should be okay. I'm ready to go. Good. Should we go then? Yeah, might as well. Alright, well, that's that's pretty cool. This is a locker. I sure hope Pork's alright. Why would you think of that right now? Those lockers just reminded me of him. He's loved hiding in them ever since he was this high. That's useful information. Quark hiding in a locker? Is that what's where Quark has been hidden the whole time? Very likely. Well, maybe not very likely, but more likely than up until this point, anything else we've been able to offer. Pipes. Nothing suspicious here. Okay, now we got the safe. What do we have over here? This is the manual I was telling you about. Remember I read it to you? Oh, you mean that thing about how we had to wear the protective suits to enter the decompression chamber? Yeah. Well, there was another piece of paper in there. It has some kind of drawing on it. What? Huh. And then, of course, we have all these uh, shapes, right? This is a chair, right? I call it a bench. Same difference. That's one of my least favorite uh, phrases. The same difference. You put your butt on it either way. 
Huh? Anyway, you see these symbols on the top. Yeah? Six of them. Maybe it's a clue. The question is, which is associated with which number, right? Part of the seed is torn. Okay, I guess that's good to know. We're maybe looking for part of a torn seat cushion. We'll open up the memo here, and what I'll do is roughly draw each shape, and we can kind of think of different ways to to show or to order each of these, right? So if this is how they're oriented as I can see them, then we can maybe think like, oh, it's something like one, two, three, four, five, six, but there are different ways of ordering them. Although they seem to be oriented in this manner, right? Because that arrow was facing up when we were trying to select. So I think this is the orientation as opposed to if it were rotated 90 degrees. So we'll, we'll come back to that. What do we have in these lockers over here? Huh. It won't open. No keyhole here either. So we can't open it, huh? But this one we can. It's a protective suit. Keeps viruses and stuff out. Looks like there's a bunch of them. I still can't believe it. How can the whole outside world be infected with some virus? Yeah. It's too horrible. I hope it's not true. It, it can't be. I think Zero Senior just put these here to mess with us. I hope you're right. Reminds me, there was like some reality show going on in maybe like Russia or something <coughs> in like 2020 where all the contestants were like isolated from the real world. They couldn't check social media, they couldn't talk to people, etc. And this was like in February, March when COVID-19 was really breaking, you know, breaking loose. And it was such a big reveal at the end of the show when they were finally told, you know, there's there's kind of a pandemic going on for the past month or two while you've just been isolated from the entirety of the world. Okay, so it doesn't seem like there's anything too useful in these lockers here. Can we inspect these, like, pipes up here? What's going on over here? Ooh, is this another, like, slide tile puzzle? Huh. I wonder what these are about. Do you think they mean something? I mean, it's very possible. A large machine. You think we're supposed to sit on the stool? What's going to happen if we do that? It'll go round and round and round and you'll get dizzy. <laughs> Clover's so funny. I'm just messing with you. You see how there's this sort of panel thing there? I think this machine is some kind of scanner. If I'm right, maybe it can tell you if there's anything wrong with your body or something. Really? I don't know. It just seemed like maybe that's what it was. Well, this is the machine, I guess. I can't find a power button. Me either, but there's a cord coming out the back. See? Yeah, that's a USB cable. You think we're supposed to plug it into something? That's a good idea. Can I interact with this? There are colored squares on the side here. Well, I guess for now, I mean, we can write those down in our memos. Um, wow, throw back. I think it was like one dot and then it was green and then magenta and then there were two dots and then it was green and magenta again and then lastly there were three dots and that one was blue and then green and then magenta right yeah i think so not really sure how to decipher that yet or, or why it's useful but well we'll think about it some other time can i interact with this cable here on the back no i don't think so all right, then we'll keep looking around. Oh, so there there are plenty of these. I don't think we've opened these ones yet. Wow, there are just like tons and tons of these suits. All right, then I think we found most of what we can initially find, right? So I think the first thing we're gonna wanna do is go down here and try to get this key here. So if we're going with 25113, I would venture to think that that's going to be the diamond, and then the sphere, and then two trapezoids, and then an arrow. So it'll be diamond, did I say sphere or cylinder? I don't know. I, I feel like I said sphere, but we've got a cylinder, 
And then we have two of the trapezoids and then an up arrow. All right. Twas not successful. <clears> hmm. <throat> so maybe there's a different way of going about the ordering, right? So something like one, two, three, four, five, six. So we could do up arrow, star, trapezoid, trapezoid, cylinder. Yeah. Let's give it a go. So we've got up arrow, and then five again was a star, and then one one is still trapezoid, and three is the cylinder. And that's not it either. Hmm. Well, I'm not really sure, not really sure what's going on there. Back down it is then. Maybe, maybe we're missing part of that one cushion on the bench and that's going to be what reveals how to decipher that. I don't know. Now that we've got these things on, we can go inside, right? What the heck? The handle still won't move. <clears throat> Maybe that touch screen on the door unlocks it. What? That's a pain, why would they do that? Security maybe? Hmm. When you click the yellow guide ring, other rings will appear at other points that you can draw lines to. Click one of these rings to draw a line connecting the two. Repeat the process until you've connected all three pairs. Remember, however, that the lines should not overlap or cross one another. Right, let's do this. Yeah, I was gonna say, without having a picture of what I'm working with, I don't think that's uh, super, super helpful, but I think the idea, whoa. Oh, I see, I see. So initially you pick a circle and then you, the yellow crosshairs are where you can choose its next path to go. And ideally, none of them should cross or overlap, right? Right. So I think the obvious one is to do that, there. Similarly, I guess we can do that? Huh. Why can I not... Wait. I'm confused. Why could I not... connect some of these. Yeah, I, I, I need to re-look at the rules. Huh? What should I do? When you click the yellow guide ring, other rings will appear at other points that you can draw lines to. Click one of these other rings to draw a line connecting the two, okay? Repeat this process until you have connected all three pairs. Remember, however, that the line should not... Okay, so there are three pairs that I need to connect. The question is, what pairs should I be connecting? Right? So there are eight different colors here. And I don't think I know how they're paired. i tempted to think that this is a clue... But I'm not really, <clears throat> not really seeing it. And until I know which pairs I'm trying to connect, I can't really do much with this, can I? Yeah, what am I going to do? Let me check the archive real quick. There we go. I was going to say, I thought there was a sheet of paper we had gotten from that manual, and I was going to look to see if it helped with the 25113 clue, but, but here we go. Um... So this is it. We have red and orange. So I'm just gonna go with like, I don't know, red, orange, and then we have yellow and green, and then we have white and black. Okay, so let's give that a go now. 
So the first one I want to consider is red and orange. Red and orange, there's a direct path, but there are also quite a few... Well, actually there aren't too many indirect paths, are there? The only real options we have are those that kind of go around like this, like if we want to be really indirect about it. That's as indirect as it gets, but also that cuts off quite a bit. In fact, it makes yellow and green impossible to connect, which means red cannot be that. So instead, if red or if yellow and green are to have a path that connects them, well, yeah, it can't go in front of green at all, can it? So we'll, we'll go like this for now, and then yellow and green can come around like that, and then white and black should come around outside. Oh, that is not true. That is not true. What's a good way of going about this? What other opportunities do I have for yellow and green? I could go around... No, because then I would block off <clears throat> orange. So, what I'm thinking here with green is we have to do this as our first move. The question is, do we go left or right? If we go left, red has no opportunity to connect with green. Because all other paths to orange are blocked off by another dot. So, the green must go up from here. Now the question is, does it go straight or down? And I think... Oh, actually, this is a lot simpler than I was making it out to be. Yeah, we just go up from there, and that'll leave a path for white to go like this around to black, and then we can do that. <clears throat> nice. That was a fun puzzle. Good job! You did it! Nice work. We should be able to get this thing open now. So what clues are we going to find in here? We've obviously been here once before. We have a tablet. Okay. We probably could connect that to the, uh, the computer and, ah, here's a matching bench. There's some numbers on the bench. I wonder if they mean something. I wonder. And so, why that tear is there is so that we're oriented, right? We know which part of the bench, which tile correlates to, or corresponds to other tiles. So, it's going to be 6, 3, 4, 1, 2, and then 5. Lovely. So we can do that now, which is nice. Let's keep looking around. A box on the wall. What sort of a box? Well, it's not a treasure chest, that's for sure. <laughs> Maybe it's full of, like, electrical circuits and stuff? Forget about that box. Look at that door. Do you notice anything? Like, what? Some thick cables. The red one seems to be going this way. This cable is red. Oh, and so I guess the idea is we're supposed to track the, the cable or current or something? Huh. Obviously it intersects in quite a few ways, so there's no way to really know at that point. We have the Zero Junior here, a model of Zero Junior. It looks like it's actually plastic. Yeah, it's inflatable like a beach ball. It looks quite inflated. Well, it's darn creepy, that's for sure. You got that right. Is there anything notable about it, like, that we can do with it, or is it just there? Is it just there to mess with us? It seems like it might actually just be to mess with us. Or, oh, maybe it's an indicator of pressure. Looks like a barometer. The needle's in the middle. Looks like it's at 1.5 atmospheres in here. I'm guessing that's the pressure for this whole facility. Remember what Clover read in that manual? Something about the pressure inside being higher than the pressure outside? What happens if I click the blue button? Hmm. Looks like this is the decompression button. Want to try pressing it? No rush. We still haven't taken a good look around the room. We can always decompress later. Ah. Okay. There's a key up here. A small key. Nice. So we'll take that. Um, we haven't looked around the entirety of the room yet, which is clearly what Temyoji wants us to do first. Hey, this door is welded shut. Looks like it. How are you so nonchalant? That door and the one we came through that let us in here are the only ways out of this room. See? So even if we did decompress this room, we still can go outside. That's right. This is a dead end. No. 
That's what I was trying to tell you. Didn't I say it wasn't going to be easy before we got here? Think about it. There's no way Zero Senior would let us out that easy. Otherwise, what's the point of all this? But... Darn it. I was getting all hopeful. This sucks. Hey! Clover, where are you going? I'm going upstairs and taking this stupid thing off. It's not like I need it, right? It's hot and it's uncomfortable. I'm out of here. Well, there she goes. <laughs> Excuse me? What the heck was that noise? I don't know, but I've got a bad feeling about this. I've got a bad feeling about that. Preparation complete. Now beginning decompression. Three, two, one. What the heck? Why did that happen? Heck if I know, why are you asking me? We need to get out of here now. Come on. I don't think it's gonna work that easily. Crap. It won't budge. Just use the panel, remember? Like you did to get us in here? Okay, I'll give it a shot. Pressure differential is too great to open the door. <laughs> Crap. Darn. I guess we're going to have to equalize the pressure before we can get it open. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Come on. Oh, there. That is a big zero junior. That's actually hilarious. God, it got big. Must be the difference in pressure. You ever taken an unopened bag of chips to the top of a mountain or something and it gets all puffed up like it's gonna pop? Same sort of thing. I guess, but this is just... Looks like it might be about to pop. And it probably doesn't spell too well for us either. So let's... That should be the pressurization button. Hit it. Right. Uh-oh. Insufficient power for repressurization. Please route additional power. Well, that's that, I guess. Darn it. So that's where that electrical puzzle dealio is going to come into play. This cable is red. Can we open up the box? There's a red cable coming out of the box. This cable is red. Can I, can I do something with it? Like, tablet? Something? Please? Some thick cables. Like, how am I supposed to route additional power to this? Some thick cables. I don't want to click the decompression button. What the heck are you doing? That's the decompression button. It's not going to do us any good now. Oh my god, what's wrong? The needle's all the way to the left. The pressure in here is zero. Zero, that means we're in a vacuum. Yeah, that's about the size of it. Crap. Without these suits, we'd be toast. Hmm. So if we've got to route additional energy there, a sheet of metal. No good. It's not going anywhere. Hmm. I mean, I'm anticipating some sort of like mini game, right? Where I try to follow the cables or something. I don't know why I can't play it, though. Am I waiting on Clover to try it, or...? What, what's going on? I, um, I don't know. Can I, can I pull this metal plate off, or what? We have the small key. Can we use it for this box? No. Okay, I want to route the additional power, but I don't know how. Is there something to, I don't know, blowing up Zero Junior and, and finding something inside? That's gotta be it. <laughs> Wonder if... poke. It popped! Don't worry, I think that was the point. See? There was something inside. All that's left of Zero Junior. He gave his life for... for something. When he exploded, I think he bent this metal plate over here. Wanna take a look? Sure. Also, is that... Is this a doll? Apparently it was inside the other Zero Junior. There was a Zero Junior inside of Zero Junior? Yeah, I was gonna say, these colors look awfully important. Aside from that, which metal plate is bent? 
That one, that one, that one. Well, I, I don't know, I guess. This one? Hey, the plate's rattling. Zero Junior's explosion probably knocked it loose. I think maybe we can get it off now. Give me a hand. Fine. Okay. This cable is red. Okay. Now, can I can I play some sort of mini game or what? There's something in here. There's a yellow one and a purple one. Looks like they're part of some kind of machine. Laser emitter yellow. Okay, laser emitter purple. Gotcha. So, yeah. So I guess we'll put the, the purple one there and the yellow one here. And that'll do that. The unfortunate thing, though, is we only have so many of them, right? There's more over here. They look just like the other ones we found. One's yellow and one's purple. Okay, do we have any more to work with, or is it just those? It seems like it's just those. So, what do we do then? Because, I mean, it's not going to be too helpful if we do this, is it? Where is this going off to? This cable is red. Well, why yes it is. <laughs> um, but it's not like I can move the pipes differently, can I? Can I take them off of different cables? Cable fitting, it's yellow. Hmm. Maybe if I take this off? Is there some way I can redirect the laser? We've obviously got to get it to, you know, the machine at the end. But I'm not really seeing where... Or, like, how this would be helpful, right? Where does that cable go? Does it go anywhere useful? It certainly doesn't seem so. Can I maybe use it on this, like, touch screen for the door? I don't think so. But it's not like I'm able to move the pipes, can I? Or the cables. Yeah, I don't, um... I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Let's see here, where does the red cable go? Just goes into the ceiling. Alright, well I mean I guess we'll we'll take these back. Maybe if I I don't know. Put them like that. But it's not like it has any power to emit, right? Can I put them on like a diagonal? That's the key. Okay, and so that should actually do the trick. Well, what was that? Maybe it's the pressurization system starting up. It should have enough power now. Good. Maybe we can get out of here. Yeah, so I think... I think the difficult part here is that you don't realize you can put them on an angle like this, diagonally, because they lend themselves to emitting, you know, like straight ahead or something. Um, so I, I think that's just not really clear from the beginning, but for what it's worth, it's a neat type of puzzle. But now we can finally pressurize this chamber, right? All right. Press it. Press the darn pressurization button. On it. Repressurization preparation complete. Repressurizing now. <laughs> Three, two, one. And I think that's going to complete everything we can do in this chamber, right? Crisis averted. Look, the needle's back to normal. Thank goodness. Looks like we did it. You know we did it, really, because the music mellowed out. That's what tells you what's really going on. Alright, we've restored pressure. We should be able to use the door panel now. You click the yellow guide ring, other rings will appear at other points that you can draw lines to. Click one of these rings to draw a line connecting the two. Repeat this process with all three pairs. Just like when we came in, right? Let's go. Okay.
They really make you do it a second time? Just like when we came in, right? <laughs> so I guess it's not the same pairing, is it? Oops, that was the that was the wrong button. Um, so this is for PEC outside. But we do not have one for inside, do we? Well, that's a little problematic, isn't it? Maybe for inside we need to do all of them? That's kind of what it looks like, right? If so, let's consider the ways that we can get... Hmm... For orange to go to red, it has to go through here. Which means blue has to come along this way. But then white has no access to black. Wait, but the instructions did say three pairs, did they not? Crap, this is harder than I thought. All three pairs. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we know what the uh, what the pairings are for inside. Am I, like, supposed to know? Is there something else in here that I didn't check but should have, or what? Maybe it's, um... Are you insane? That Windows... Or, that Windows has to stand up to ridiculous pre pressure differences. We're not going to break it with a bench. Is it on... Are these the coloring? Color pairings? Hm. This thing's pissing me off. Well, I don't like it either, but we don't really have a choice, do we? If it's here, then it's probably part of one of these puzzles. No, that darn thing's not going to help us get out of this room. Just leave it, we can come back to it later. So I think that's the, the game's way of telling us that this is for a different puzzle. And I agree, I don't think we can interpret how the colors are paired from, from that image. So... So, how do we know what the pairings are? Is there a piece of paper down here? There are pieces of Zero Junior scattered all over the floor, it's almost sad. Um, none of these look particularly paper-like, but I'll click on a bunch of them just to be safe. I would think that the game would show me, or just automatically give to me, what I need. What happens if I depressurize again? Hey, don't touch that! That's the decompression button. We just got the air back. You want to let it all out again? What are you doing? There's no point to raise the pressure any higher. Let's get back out of here before something else happens. Yeah, well, I don't really know what the pairings are. So I don't think I can complete the puzzle? Is there something I'm just, like, completely missing? Clover's on the other side of the glass wearing her protective suit. Hey! Clover, Clover, can you hear me? You don't need to yell, huh? These helmets must have a radio. We should have realized that earlier. How else would we have been able to talk to each other after we put them on? Oh, yeah. I guess the excitement of the moment and everything. It looks like you guys are locked in there. I tried to open the door, but it wouldn't budge. So what should I do? Can you look around to see if there's anything useful? You mean over here? Yeah. You can direct Clover by clicking objects on the other side of the glass. Okay. Clover, is there anything in that box? Uh, no, it's empty. Hey, Clover, look under that machine. Here? Yeah. Do you see it? It looks like a binder. Yeah, I see it. Pick it up. Is there anything in it? Oh, okay, hold on. This is... Hey, what is it? There's a piece of paper in here. A piece of paper? It's just like the one I found in the manual. Oh, no, wait, it's a little different. The picture is similar, but I guess it's not the same. What's it of? Um, um, how do I explain this? There are these color circles, and they're connected to other circles. Ah, you're not making any sense. Just bring it over here and shove it up against the glass. Right. Gotcha. Ha, this is perfect. We can just connect the dots like this. Now I think we're good. Oops. Clover's on the other side. She's sitting in front of the elevator, so it means there's nothing really else to uh, to do here. But I can't really... There we go. I was able to rotate it that way. So let's start up the puzzle again. We know how the puzzle works, which is nice. 
And then we can check the archive for the PEC inside. So white and purple, yellow and red, and then green and blue. So white and purple, yellow and red, and green and blue. Yellow and red is going to be the interesting one here. Because of white and purple and yellow and red kind of intersecting. Oh, or wait a minute. Yeah, white and purple, yellow and red. So... Hmm. They have to go around each other, essentially, right? So how can we get white to purple... as well as green and blue? What I'm thinking is, we can always try to get white to purple over this way, but then that complicates things for green and blue. Right? Because if we go this way to purple, we're going to cut off blue from green. No matter what. So that can't be the case. So instead, white must go in this direction to purple. And I guess to keep it out of the way, we'll go like that. But then yellow and red have a bit of predicament themselves. Actually, no. It doesn't have to progress as far to get to red as it would purple. So what we can actually do is bring green kind of around like this, and then yellow can just come all the way along the outside to go here. Cool. There was a Professor Layton puzzle that was very similar to this. Good work. What's going on? Did you guys unlock it? Yeah, looks like it. Hold on, I'm opening it now. Okay. So, cool puzzle. Um, was very non-apparent that if you click on the right, uh, or the correct glass panel, you'll be able to command Clover to get things on the other side. So I think that was a little bit frustrating, but luckily we didn't waste too much time on it. Welcome back. I'm glad you're okay. Thanks to you, Clover. We would have been toast without you. Thanks. Aw. That's okay, you don't need to thank me. Okay. If you say so. Oh, this is the one where there are the two locks, right? So, let's see if we can use one of the small keys on this. Huh? The key doesn't fit. Why don't you try the locker next to that one? Yep, that was going to be the next attempt. Good, it opened. And what do we find? There's something in here. Huh? Is this a journal? Looks like it's blank. Not much. Wait, there's a slip of paper in here. This is... You've found a sheet of paper with colorful shapes on it. Paper with colorful picture. So this is obviously related to our memo that we have over on the left-hand side. Hmm. Interesting. Not really sure what to make of it yet, but that's okay for now. Because in the meantime, we have another key that we can get from this elevator area down below. And so the order was what? 634125. So the first one is going to be 2, which is a cylinder. Great. Next one is going to be a 5, which is the hourglass. And then 1s are 2 stars. And then 3 is the diamond. So we've got hourglass, 2 stars, and then a diamond. Cool. Completed. Good job. Looks like you were right. Hey, look! And that's gonna give us a small key. Wonder what this key goes to. Yeah, you know what? Me too, Temyoji. But I feel like I've got a pretty good idea of where it goes. So let's head on back over to that locker and see what's inside that one. Good. Looks like you got it open. Okay, another hazmat suit, but it's probably missing something? Is this a protective suit? Maybe, but it's so small and cute. Maybe it's for a kid? Small protective suit. What could we use this for? For Quark, maybe? It's so small. I know, isn't it cute? Okay. I'm not really sure why we need that just yet. 
Yeah, I'm really not sure, honestly. Is it to bring Clover into the PEC? Maybe that was like the problem before, that the suit was too big for her, and that's why it didn't activate while she was in there? Can we take these off now? Yeah, I think so. I mean, we unlocked the door to the decompression chamber, right? Yeah, no point keeping the darn things on now. Off they go. Ah, feels much better. Clover, you're drenched in sweat. Hey, you're not thinking creepy stuff, are you? Of course not. Just put them back in the locker. Okay. You better not, like, smell mine or something, Sigma. I'm offended you would even suggest such a thing. Okay. What were we going to do down here? We were going to check this out. Can we interact with this now? There are colored squares on the side here. Oh, that's right. There's the tablet thing that we can hook up via USB, probably. Right. Let's just connect these and... And... <laughs> hey, it says something. I'll read it. Inspecting the protective suit. System is, system is still operating in diagnostic mode. Full range of scan is not possible, so small suits must be used for calibration. Please place the child-sized protective suit in a standing position in the de designated location. So that's why we need that. Touch the screen to begin inspection. Hmm. Okay. So we will place the suit in its respective position. The stool is probably what the message was talking about. So I should stand up that suit and put it here? I think so. Go for it. Can I... can I not? I'm... Um, I have the suit clicked. Clicking on the stool. Is there somewhere else I need to be clicking to stand this up, or what? I guess I need to stand the child size suit. Do I need to combine it with this? Wow. <laughs> Zero Junior in a suit. It has the number 8 on it as well. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but maybe there are 9 suits labeled or something? Large machine. Should I put the dressed up Zero Junior doll here? Yes, you should. Okay, the pattern on the display is the same as the pattern on the stomach of the stuffed animal wearing the protective suit. Okay. Click it to scan the pattern so the device can read the colors in the pattern. Once you have that, enter three numbers on the right side of the screen and press check. Okay, let's give this a shot. So we can scan, right? So each of these represents a different color, and from this, I'm supposed to get... Hmm. So for example, this one is green, right? So, I don't really, uh... I don't get it. <laughs> huh? I don't get this. There are colored squares on the side here. The pattern on the display is the same as the pattern on the stomach of the stuffed animal wearing the protective suit. Click it to scan the pattern so the device can read the colors in the pattern. Once you have that, enter three numbers on the right side of the screen and press check. I think this is the scanning I'm supposed to be doing, but I don't get how it wants me to interact, interact with everything on the right hand side. Right? Like... I guess the idea is we're maybe supposed to like spell out or like write a number using the different colors that are given here. So for example, the number, the one dot number is going to be from cyan to red to blue to yellow. Cyan, red, cyan, red, blue, yellow. 
Oh, so it's probably going to be a zero. Let's see if it ends in magenta and um, green. Magenta and black. So it goes around like this, and then to magenta and black. Gotcha. So that's how we're getting the numbers here. Okay, so then the second number will be cyan, green, black, blue, and yellow. Cyan, green, black, blue, and yellow. Cyan, green, black, blue, and yellow. That number is a two. And then the last one is cyan, green, black, and then magenta, yellow. That's gonna be a three. Yeah. Okay, cool. Eventually figured it out. Good job. You deserve a pat on the back. Don't patronize me. Hey, the color has changed. You're right. So this is going to be our escape password, right? This is... Looks just like the passwords I found in the AV room and the infirmary. Yeah. This ought to open that safe. Cool. And then the question is, what's going to be our hidden file password? Naturally, it's going to be however we can input this. And it's going to be based off of what... Um, what we have over here on the left hand side. So if we have green and red, what does that tell us? Red and green are over here. But I can't think of much of a way to fill in the gaps. Green and red. I mean, that doesn't really narrow numbers down much, does it? Not one. Actually, let's let's see. It's num It's not number one. It's not number two. It's not number three. It could be four. It could not be five. It could not be six. It can't be seven. It could be eight. And it could be nine. So the first number is either four, eight, or nine. And the second number is the same, four, eight, or nine. And then the third number has blue, green, and red. So green and red, and then where is blue? It's here. So that's gonna be the same possibilities, except um, it actually has to only, it can't be four and it can't be nine, so it has to be eight. So the last number is gonna be eight. How can we determine the first couple numbers, though? I'm not confident we can. So let's... Well, I mean, they're only a couple pairs, right? So it's not 4, 9, 8. So let's try 9, 4, 8. Okay. We can try 4, 4, 8. And then... We can 9, 9, 8. All right, well, I guess now we can try eight, 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 four, eight, and then lastly, eight, nine, eight, and then I guess we could do nine here, and then nine, eight, eight, and then nine, four, eight. All right, then however I tried to interpret this is not correct. But that's the only thing I could think of. Is there something else to complement the puzzle? Hmm. Any information elsewhere we can use here? I don't think so. I think we just have to interpret this clue here. Oh, you know what? <laughs> you know what? I know the problem, and it's that I used red and blue because those are the colors in the memo, but they're actually cyan and magenta, right? So that's going to make a big difference. So this is cyan, I'm going to write that out, and this is magenta. Okay, so let's go with green and magenta. So this is green and this is magenta. What numbers could that be? That could be quite a few. It could be one. It could be three. It could be four. It could be seven. 
Could be eight, could be nine. Wow, that's very unhelpful. Very, very, very unhelpful. Which makes me think I'm not even doing this correctly. If a clue is that unhelpful, right? It could be one, could be three, could be four, could be eight, could be nine. And that goes for the second one as well. One, three, four, eight, nine. And then the last one just includes cyan in there. Cyan is where? Up top. So cyan could be three or seven or nine. And that's not helpful. This is just way too many combinations to, to try like before, or unlike before. Hmm. The only thing I can think of is if these colors shown are the only ones that are not used. And it's kind of backwards like that, right? So what if it was, oh, the number does not use green or magenta. So this is magenta and this is green. So if it does not use those, it has to be, well, it, there's actually no number that, that could work for that, is there? Not one, maybe one? I think it would be centered on like on the right side, not on the left. But I guess you could make a one that way couldn't do a two, couldn't do a three, couldn't do a four, not a five, not a six, not a seven, not an eight, not a nine. So maybe one. And then the last one is cyan as well. Well, actually, we know there's only really one number, right? So similarly, hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, guys. So it's probably not that each of these colors shown is what, like, what parts of the number eight to not use. So then what do they mean? Does it have some sort of overlap with the archive thing? For example, in one and two, let's see, the colors were green and magenta. Is there any way that that plays a role in here? I don't think so. They're the arrows from left to right, but I don't think that actually makes a difference. think on this for like a couple minutes but I'm not really seeing what the game wants me to and not sure I'd want to spend a lot of time on it oh you know what it probably yeah it's just the the red not the red it's not red it's magenta and green and so that would make the number one for the first two, and then I think the last one, it just includes the cyan, so it's probably just 117 here. Gotcha. It's not which numbers are included if we include those, those, uh, those color positions, it's literally just those specific positions. Huh? Did... Did I solve it? Looks like it. I mean, the color changed and everything. I think part of what threw me off is that I initially interpreted it as red, so I was like, oh, the green and red alone don't create any numbers, so I have to think along the lines of what numbers are include, include those specific colors, 
But then I know once I corrected for red is not red, instead it's actually magenta and blue is cyan. Um, I never went back and thought about it how I originally did, and so that led me on a wild goose chase. <laughs> Alright, so with that... Huh? This one's different. You think it'll open the safe too? Well, no harm in remembering it. Okay. Now, we can finally get on out of here. This is the safe, right? Yeah. It's just like the ones I saw in the AV room and the infirmary. So we just type a password in here and it should open. Everything else looks the same. Okay, I think it was star, star, and then sun. For the hidden file. Sweet. Hooray! It opened! Hmm. Good job. Alright, and then we've got one more to go. What was the other password? Star, Moon, Sun. And with that, we have escaped. Whew. Looks like that did it. Looks like there's a lot in there. Whoa, what is all that stuff? Hold on. I'll take everything out. Just be patient. Let's see. First off, a map. It says Floor B. The one we found in the infirmary said Floor A. I wish we didn't have to go through this every single time. <laughs> so that means Floor A must be the top floor, huh? I mean, we took an elevator down to get here. Yeah, seems like it. Keep going. There's more in there. This looks like... Key cards. They've got moons on them. That means these must be the moon keys the announcer was talking about. There's two of them, just like with the sun key. You take one, Temyoji. Huh? Why? You're a solo. Clover and I only need one. Ah, right. Thanks. Okay, got a couple more things. What's this? Looks like a memory card. I feel like I've seen something like that before, but where? I wonder what's on it. Well, unless we can find something to stick it into, we won't be finding out anytime soon. Hmm. Well, we can figure that out later. For now, we'll just take it with us. All we've got left is the key. Is that the key to the exit? What else would it be? We should be able to get that door open now. Cool. Come on, there's no time to waste. Let's move. Let's see what Quark gets up to this time around. Especially now that we have the knowledge that he likes to hide in lockers. The lock for the door. It says lock. Let's go. Okay. Right. Let's do this. Three, two, one. You found it. Alright. Overall, pretty solid. Pretty solid room. I like the puzzles. Um, there were just a couple times where it was a little bit difficult to see what you could do with some of the puzzles, like the wiring or, you know, commanding Clover through the glass, but otherwise, nothing, nothing too much to complain about. However, I am a little bit warm and ready to call it. So I'm going to say that in the next episode, we're going to see how the rooms went for the other trios and see how everybody else reacts to, I don't know, the white doors and... It seems like we're getting to know Temyoji a little bit better, so hopefully that fleshes out a little bit more. And yeah, I'm curious to see what happens to Quark in this timeline, as well as Alice, now that she doesn't have a scalpel. So even if she does get infected by Radical Six, she won't be able to really kill herself with the scalpel she had in that other timeline. But she still, of course, may end up dead at you know the hands of Dio. But, but we will see, of course, uh, with patience, right? But until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete.